doing this for a hot minute. Let me talk to you about something. Go for it. You play Lucario. I do. How do you like fighting Zonies as a floaty? Uh, it's not ideal, but... Okay, it is not emotional enough. I play Ness. Okay, Ness good. Belmont feels bad. Peach Belmont? Not great. Not great. It not also great. does not feel bad. That's the thing that's spots. I was baiting. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, I think Lucario is like a little bit funky. Yeah, right? like, it's okay. a little different. Aura Sphere and Double Team kind of shut down Belmont yes. well enough to play neutral, but Peach does not have those tools, and she just has to try and oh, yeah. utilize her best tool in float uh, in the most creative ways possible because staying in the air against Belmont is uh, is what they want you to do. They want you to be hittable. They want you to be actionable so they can just swat you out of the air. Don't float in the air, 1984. <laughs> but gets a couple of back hits and immediately it's a dash attack as well. Lane's damage output is looking already pretty solid. But it's good from using that down tilt as a bit of a get off me option. Those high side bees are really good to be able to avoid any preemptive holy water setups. Oh, but Ling doing an excellent job mixing up his float and canceling them early to just keep... Oh, oh my god, the side B in order to approach past so much of the of the cross and holy water and find a punish after Ling getting creative and has a lead to boost. Oh yeah, he's setting up with the ledge here. He's looking through the delayed option, not able to call out that shield effectively as uh, Squid Plumber makes it back onto the stage. He's looking for that up, he's looking for that back here, he's looking for it yet again, and not able to find it. Link just keeps on using that side B and oh man, he's got a stitch in hand. Oh, but missed the recatch and it didn't close out the stock quite yet. Oh, but oh, that'll well. do it, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that got up attack a little bit unsafe on shield. That was like just in case Link had opted to go for like a float foil, but even then, I don't love that get up attack. I don't exactly know what he was well what, what was he envisioning? Hey, Peach is my float here, so hey, I'm gonna kick you. <laughs> Entirely plausible. But it did eat the stock and Ling is holding steady. What a float! And is now successfully baiting out Squid Plumber's overuse oh, of yeah. that upbeat out of shield. Finding so many punishes. If there's anything you gotta respect, it is Peach Buttons on your shield. Back here, neutrally, I mean, they just make themselves nice and safe. And now somebody's gonna be looking for a jump call out, but I gotta say, Ling is just making his movement so, so subtle here. But ooh, that back here might not. Oh, what do I say? Yeah, it definitely doesn't do it. Yeah, forward throw is the, co is the one that closes out stocks, maybe Goodbye. from here. Not, ooh, quite. not quite. Again, not like. Oh! oh. Floaties. That's some pretty far range you got on that toss. I mean, Nobody saw this, but Uba like made like a little telescope <laughs> gesture. <laughs> Look, I, I'm Italian. I talk with my hands. <laughs> I'm glad I got that demonstration at least. And now immediately the down to go into the tech chase set up all the platform as well. Squid Plumber backing off, saying, hey, this cross, this is a tool for later. It didn't exactly work out as he had envisioned, but that is A-OK. -okay. Oh, early use of the cross leads to a turn at punish, but literally just the turnip toss, mm -hmm. unable to get a grab afterwards. No jump, but the back air wasn't placed in oh, yeah. time either. Ling missing a couple stocks, missing a couple opportunities, and the Squid Plumber is just holding on to them and taking him to the bank. Oh, and such a good punish, just charging up that F smash as long as possible, looking for the back air, finds it successfully, jumping, 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 waiting, and that cross almost actually confirming into the up tilt, and just looking for some sort of a way to catch this landing from Link, and again, he keeps on getting past that holy water. Oh wow, what a angle from that whip. Ling was in perfect position to intercept most recoveries with that Nair, but not so with the swing as that shield is looking mighty low. I like the fact that he backed off. He was like, hey, you know what? My shield is tiny. This holy water is hot, so I'm going to back off a little bit. And now, almost going to be spacing out that f toe, looking for some sort of a jump call out, looking for a creative option, and Ling is just slowing down his play. Has to at this percent, wants to hold on to this lead and not let Squid Plumber run away with this. Finally finding another forward air, but it's not going to do it once more. I like some of the early float cancels that Ling has been doing, but you're getting in, but you're not getting the stock. Whether it be with stale moves or just something in between, finally wraps it up with a back air and a yeah. game bag. A little bit too slow in the holy water, but that time around does successfully connect it. The cross slash, ooh, the cross, excuse me, just gonna come back in. But the down tilt, actually low profiling Peach, so she got past the up B hitbox and only ended up clanking. That was a funky little interaction. Nobody talked about Peach's hurtbox shifting. This character be squishing and stretching all over with these animations, and it can sometimes be especially hard to hit her, notably oh, yeah. off of down tilt and back air. Okay, just jumping, jumping, waiting, being nice and patient here, looking for that four liter conversion, doesn't actually find it as anticipated, and using neutral to both hit past three and still put out a hitbox back onto the stage. Squid Plumber needs to catch this landing, but I gotta say, Ling is just managing his float so well. 
the float management has been crazy, and it's forced Squid Plumber to be much more varied with some of their tool set. Of course, Cross and Holy Water are seen Ooh, time and time again. <gasps> what an option, but not quite the right one. <laughs> he wanted to snap onto the ledge. Alas, he's a little bit too far back. He just ended up stage spiking Ling, and uh, that is not a fast folly by any means. So they will take a long time to descend, even if Link, let's say, had no double jump, no float anymore. If you up B, simple probability, you're going to descend way later than, than uh, Belmont is, right? So that entire situation was just in Ling Ling's favor. Yes. That entire thing off stage, I mean, that's just Belmont off stage, honestly. Yeah being in a position where you can intercept and some, sometimes even being close enough where you actually oh, yeah. uh, mess with the tracking so it doesn't actually so the forward air or back air doesn't go to ledge and instead goes to uh, goes to hit the opponent and you you fall in the process <laughs> precisely so game number two here and again we keep talking about this excuse me i keep talking about this zonings need a game to lose they need a game to scribble on the little notepad and be like oh i feel like you're going to jump in response to this i think this is how you're going to space yourself and you're already seeing squid plumber a much more confident approach to neutral already getting so many more holy waters off in previous times where link kept on avoiding them also considering decision fatigue as a bit of a thing and projectiles simply age like wine with time very, very true, and I want to really instantly point out that early jump holy water call out that was earlier. Mm -hmm. A lot of the times Ling has found a means to get back to center and to get out of a lot of these corner scenarios by just jump side B. Oh yeah. Get force your way to center, take some of the hits, or see if you can get by. He's looking for a call out, either a goal call out or a jump call out, but Ling was just like, okay, whatever you're cooking, I don't want any of it. I am allergic, I'm simply gonna sit in Winky shield bits. and now picks up a turn of something that he can actually eat and enjoy. And the question is, will he be able to use it? Not quite. Yeah, not being able to force feed Squid Plumber with any of these turnips thus far. The turnip combos have been really, really uh, oh, yeah. shut down on, a, on the part of Squid Plumber. Instead, it's just been Ling having to play neutral time and time again. Okay, looking through the uphill juggle, he has yet to find any of those, at least in a way that it would take the stock off. That F smash was a huge over commitment. He is now off stage. Will he be able to make it back on? Yes, he will, but at what cost? No double jump off stage. He has to make it back on with that void and he does so. What an option. What an option. <laughs> what a mix up there from Squid Plumber. And you gotta save those for a little bit later, my god, because he unfortunately wasn't able to wrap up the stock. The thanks immediate to detonation on Holy Water, that was a cool That test. was so cool though. <laughs> That definitely not something that you see often at all, but finally is going to be able to find that upbeat. Gets that conversion, only 34% onto the board and looking for any way he can to possibly land. Finally, outspaces Peach as Ling covered only one of the potential directions. And now popping out yet another Holy Water, backing off the cross, manipulating the space. And I feel like he has a tell. And let me tell you what this tell is. Go for it. Every single time that the cross is returning, yes. Ling is sitting in shield. I want to see grabs. I want to see down throws in adaptation to that. Yeah, everything that Squid Palmer has been is all been oriented around confirming into stuff, setting up for the guarantee oh, yeah. or setting up for stuff that will uh, traps in turn. Unfortunately, it hasn't resulted mm -hmm. in many of those callouts, and you see just how comfortable Ling is moving around platforms across Ooh. stage. Oh, and with little cross-ups like that, you've got to be extra careful. But Squid Palmer regains control. Absolutely, and tries to space out an up tilt. Not able to get the in time, has the directional. Air dodge uses up the jump, but then still delays. Oh, he no. doesn't get the double jump. He wanted to drop down, um, double jump, holy water. And Ling tried to footstool him. That was just yep. mean. <laughs> that was a little disrespectful. Yeah, I unnecessary, it. but all this damage is certainly necessary. Quick 36 and the roll away to bait out the following upbeat out of shield. 67 off of two interactions, and Link's looking to finish this game off quick. And that coverage as well, fading back, punishing the go back on, and almost cleaned it up with that side beat. He only commit yes, but he was a stock up. He has so many pawns to trade away at this point. This should be a punish out of shield, and just goes for the F to go through the stage control instead, just in case Peach would fall out of an upbeat. And back air being so safe on the part of Peach. Have to respect so much of that. Avoiding jumping over the returning cross that time. Ling even recognizing his own habits and changing them up on Squid Palmer mid-game. Oh yeah. Constantly keeping he's him on his toes. He's not locking himself down to the same option. He is making sure that he is staying ambiguous and just a little bit too far through that void to connect. That one is not the sweet spot that he was looking for. 
the up air whist, so as does the air dodge. Link just having a sharp, sharp memory for everything that's coming out and what every single uh, piece of Belmont's tool set is and the counterplay to them. Being flexible and still keeping a track on oh, yeah. Squid Plumber. But the drop down double jump for you, such a nice aggressive option to get off that ledge. Beno looking to space out an option and gets that up and he catches the holy water again. 150%. This is looking unlikely, but not impossible. You have to find a huge way to lock this down, but that also gives Ling time to farm. He is farming. Oh my gosh. He is pulling out those tulips, and Squid Plumley is whiffing those F tilts, and therein lies the tragedy of Belmont. You may have noticed, hey, wait a second, didn't uh, somebody double jump thing? Well, let's talk about that. You just mentioned this in the beginning Belmont air acceleration. That is the thing that you need. You need to be able to live off this side. You absolutely need it because the way that you hold in, the more air acceleration that you have, the faster you can, of course, cancel that horizontal knockback and to be able to establish your own drift. Man, that's tough. Yeah, on top of the sheer baiting that Ling was doing time and time again, like catching, uh, catching off tech chases, as, and as we've mentioned, like spent time to pull a lot of term, uh, turnips since Squid Plumber took that opportunity to take oh, yeah. center, but as soon as Ling landed, it was an instant jump, low cancel forward air into Squid Plumber's face, over the forward tilt, and yep. closing up the stock. He Just keeps like, finding those openings. In game one, he was against a Holy Water. In game two, it was those FTs. Yeah. Ling is playing so sharp right now, and it's looking like he's trying to guarantee, not only guaranteeing himself ninth, but get to play the loser of what's happening on the other stream, which is Leon and what Mia. What a walk back. He walked back. And when you know what Belmont does that, they're playing with the epitome of swag. That's a strut, right? <laughs> that Belmont strut has been working for a good long time. But Peach, no vampire. And oh, yeah. Ooh, missing the holy water catch as one of the more scary things of what is when uh, Belmont is able to grab their own holy water as an item. Ooh. I like the down and actually to maybe get your double jump back, but still gonna get punished for it. It's still gonna be stuck in disadvantage. The returning cross in case it would actually help him out, and it did because it did force Link to go sit and shield. And now he has to make it back from that position. No dice, not even with a double jump. Yeah, not falling to the lingering hits of Peach down smash. Oh, some some mix-ups there. We see some patience coming out from both Ling and Squid Plumber. Once again, those jump holy waters are doing a lot to stuff out certain approaches and the axe hitting so far up. Somebody has no double jump, but still using all of that air speed, using all of that drift to be able to make a movement as ambiguous as possible. Popping out that up, popping it out yet again, just in case Link occupied high in time. Holy water to discourage any ledge trap setups. Oh man, what's the play here? Squid Plumber is looking a little lost. He's, it just seems like he's finding so much trouble hitting Peach, and despite Peach's floatier nature, and despite her as a character, she can be so um, so easy to stuff out. Squid Plumber's having a hard time tracking down the excellent use of float mix-ups and quick fastballs and everything in between. The roll-on! Oh, and the goal. You have to remember, you have to respect how long floating goal animations are, especially that of Peach. She has one of the best in the game, but finally finds a holy water, the sweet spot, right in the center into the F-tilt. Squid Plumber taking a second. So is Link. He can make this. He can do this. He can take this for MDVA. Or will Link take this win for New England? Yeah, a... A battle of wills and a battle of the, the last regional represent representatives in the bracket mm. for each of them. Down 2-0, oh, Squid Plumber is just staying as grounded as possible, trying to stay as safe as possible, but Ling one step ahead with that back air and that winky face turnip toss straight up into the falling Squid Plumber. Yeah. Oh, such a good recovery mix-up as well. He made his drift so ambiguous. He just was able to slip under the stage to be able to avoid the turnip, and he's just struggling to hit. He can't hit Ling, who is approaching, and that time around he was able to make it back, but at what cost? Just a little punk. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, gets the down throw into that forward air. The DI out, almost putting Ling into an even worse position. Axe he just won. ate that hit. He didn't want to air dodge just in case he would lose both the float and a potential air dodge. And that's where the item play with turnips comes in clutch. Ling is almost on, always able to reutilize things like the holy water bounce, doing it again so there, but a great return catch and drop in order to avoid all of that, turning it almost into a stock heads up play from Squid Plumber and almost amazingly rewarded for it. Yeah, it is a DI check and a half. If you don't DI, you oh, can yeah. die at 60. If you do, you're living until 150%. And now, stuck at the Bonk. ledge yet again, gets one of those called out, makes it back on, and what a spike! The clutch spike of the day thus far. Squid Plumber, 116. This is not looking good. He is on his last legs. He is on his tournament stock and game. 
Yeah, at 130, every single hit matters, but every single float movement, man, Ling just oh, doesn't it. get hit. Oh, and he's still somehow alive, but now he has no double jump off stage. Yeah. That's it. All it takes. Belmont off stage. You just have to shove him a little bit, and then he descends to his death. Ling taking that with a perfect, impeccable, well executed 3 0. Just pristine. Like in a matchup that, I mean, both of us were looking at, like, hey, Peach against Zoners. Like, oh, we know how Pac Man can look against Peach. We know how Samus can look against Peach. Like, have reversals out of shield for, oh, yeah. for their shield pressure, have items to consume aerial space. Like, all of this good stuff. But Ling said, what if I just be moving? I'll move well. I'll move so perfectly. He was, he was, he was moving. difficult to hit. He was floating all over the place. And I feel like Belmont Actually, is I'm like. Gonna, I'm going to reset this video real quick. Uh, he's all about the pinpoint call-outs. I want to point out this situation right here because one of the biggest things about Belmont is sometimes it can feel like quantity, not quality. Cross covers the horizontal. Holy water. It's about this trajectory. Axe, this trajectory. Oh, yeah. You know where Ling is? Right here. Constantly. Almost constantly. <laughs> he's in that space where the only thing that he can really worry about is like a four-liter. And even then, he's using the most out of all of his air speed to usually be just behind. To be, It was so difficult for his quick plumbing to get like those pinpoint disjoints, right? For sure. Because of how specific the space that it was covering and how well Ling was just using his float and his resources, his movement just made him as ambiguous as possible. Yeah. That, it's the space that's supposed to be covered by whip but you almost never get the time to set up everything and be able to throw oh, out a yeah. forward air. So it was almost always Squid Palmer getting caught in decisions, and while in those decisions, Lane would hit him. Oh yeah, and especially off stage. Especially I mean, at the end of the stage. day, um, Belmont 